on everyone my name is Tyski and I'm making this video because honestly the moody color grade has been by far my favorite color grade so in this tutorial I'll be using color finale pro you can also use final cut pros built-in like color grading stuff just to do all this stuff too so you can easily follow along. so normally in a profile that I shoot in I usually try to shoot my meter on my camera to be as balanced as possible so what I'm gonna do now is find the clip that has the most I guess contrast that I want to try to work with maybe this one might be best and I'll just kind of work on this to be the main highlight clip to start undertoning everything else from there as you can see with the RGB overlay like I don't want to go lower than zero and I also don't want the highlights to be higher than 100 but if I go ahead and just stretch this back up to here then now you can kind of see that it's like actually neutrally balanced I'm gonna use pivot and what pivot is kind of like is like the adjustment of kind of like the highlights in a way or at least for my understanding so here's the part that I find the most crucial when it comes for color grading like the deep tones of what you like to do a style so me personally I like to like degrade the greens by a lot so on how to do so rather than adding saturation into this yet I'm gonna go to color I'm gonna go over to edit layers insert HSL which stands for hue saturation and luma I want to go and desaturate the greens simply by just clicking on the hue versus sat I'm gonna go ahead and drag an eyedropper tool and find the greenest of the green that seems the greenest of them all once I click on for that that I can bring the greens back up and I can also bring it back down and it has more desaturation but because I'm gonna grab this point up here I'm gonna drag it slightly a little bit up here to grab a little bit of teal so that way it kind of adds a little bit of teal into the green too but I can tweak that just a little bit more by going to the hue versus hue which is going to change an all direction of a color in total so I grab that eyedropper again find the darkest of the green click on that again and as I tweak it you can kind of see like all right it's changing slightly colors like it's going to a teal now but if I drop it down you can see it's going to a lot of perp but if I bring it back to maybe or roughly around this point or just kind of find some form of adjustment to make it a little bit more teal as you can see how that's getting more teal that makes it look way more moodier okay so now we're gonna add some of that warmth into it so because I'm gonna work on the warmth let's go ahead and back to the color and now I'm gonna be using the insert six vectors which is gonna be the vector scope which allows me to drag specific a color unfortunately Final Cut Pro does not have this built in but you can actually still follow along easily with the HSL curves but let's talk brown as in like the tone brown how do we bring that brown back well based off of either red and yellow and maybe slight little bit of purple but it's mainly gonna be red and yellow so I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the red first and get just the saturation to turn up just slightly a bit I have to go through another image and see what the reds looking like when I bring the saturation up there do the same thing with the yellows but instead with the yellow you want to try it with the hue instead just kind of tweak it a little bit so that the yellows can start to be slightly orange you don't want to go a little bit too far but you just want to have it just at that right tone maybe add some saturation too and you already got a banger shot already looking like look look at this come on you can't tell me right now that's already looking moody enough as it is before after before after before after you can already see the point it's just looking so golden but now every clip is not going to match each other only because some are just slightly brighter than the others some are slightly darker than the others so how do we adjust that by adjusting each clip separately and as individual so i'm gonna go ahead and click on this first clip right here this one i'll actually go ahead and just start to use the color curves here this will allow me to, of course, make a lot more contrasty if I wanted to. But if I want to add that extra punch to it, I'm going to do the color board and just do saturation. Just add the saturation slightly. Now, here's a cool trick that's going to save you a lot of time. If you think that this clip is looking good already so far, copy and paste with Command C. And then you can go ahead and do Option Command v onto the next clip and it'll just apply it save yourself so much time however sometimes that may or may not work so if it's something that's like a little bit off just tweak it that's all you need to do and i'm going to show you a very very pro way on how to do this but before i get into this i want to say thank you to my sponsor what i thought i saw something in my camera like someone was out the window 
but I guess not. The easiest method to give yourself that actual detailed look when it comes to the color grading is actually duplicating your layers. You wanna go up to mask, which is almost kind of like its own layer. So go ahead and add another color board. I want the center to be a lot more brighter, but I want the sides and all that stuff to just be more darker. So you would think just add a vignette. You possibly can, but you can actually make a vignette way better by simply having that second color board. Let's focus on the exposure. Go back to the add the shape mask, feather out how you want the feather to be. So for me, I'm gonna kind of make it oval like and tweak it from here. So that way, like I said, the middle can be the most brightest while the outsides are the most darkest, which as you can see, come on, bro, that makes it way more darker. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be a really good thing for y'all. If you like this video, feel free to like the video. And if you wanna see more content like this, like I said, feel free to subscribe. It's entirely up to you guys. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. My name is Tyski. make it do what it is, what it doesn't, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.